Hey, what's up dudes? Kublik on here and welcome back to Witcher 3 Permanent Roleplay, the place where we take a Geralt, give him a certain build, put him out into the world, and if he's able to succeed in his mission, awesome. And if he dies, well, he's cut, and we start a new Geralt build, and uh, try that dude out. Now, so far, and now, we are playing the intro to w basically where I would get our character to be before I say, let's start flipping in new dudes and the like. That door just shook like mad. Try that again. There you go. All right, one more door. Here we go, here we go. Huzzah! Oh, it did it again. Oh, well. Maybe it's just a, that direction it does it. Anywho. The, uh... Oh, God, I'm stuck in these walls. So the thought process is once we get our character to the level that we need him to be, as I would consider a good start for the permanent roleplay. Also a good place where the world has opened up enough, where there's enough different experiences for us to enjoy. At the moment, we are still in the entrance level. Now, there's lots here. As you can see, every one of these question marks is a potential thing to go for. We can play a character who just focuses on question marks. We can play a character who just focuses on things that are story-based, things that are contract-based. It's really up to a variety of your guys' ideas. But anyway, our current build is, you know, just get, get everybody into and understanding how the character is supposed to work. Our current build is a mind-controlling focused Geralt with the power to make people fight for him or uh, that's actually an eventual ability is that you can control and make people fight for you um, this guy at the moment is able to just calm people down but eventually you'll be up in Quen and using a sword and minimal will be alchemy now this I think is a funny scene first thing Bad is time. like not at all hand me the beggar tickets the Red bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar takes poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Boop. Griffin, do that to her. Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night. She was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Meeting a boy, the young, you know, do foolish things for love. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Ruffs. Blood's pooling in the skull. Nothing my bruise can do to help. This is something I think fascinating. Could try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But? Witcher's potions aren't for humans. She'll die as it is. Yes, a peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her Swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will hear her screams. I understand. Do as you will. I think this is fascinating of an idea because it's such a great question where it's like, she's going to die either way. So in typical, you know, like mindset, you might want to try saving someone by, you know, anything, anything at all. But the idea is causing them such terrible pain. Ooh got a potion for Lena. Swallow. First sign of spring. Symbol of rebirth. Fitting as names go. We'll see. Like I said, could harm her. Deeply. Works on me immediately. But I have a faster metabolism. Effects won't appear in her case for a few days. Why'd you choose this in the end? Decided it was better than doing nothing. I like you, Witcher. Here. A small gift. For giving a damn. So, in The Witcher, you know how you can seduce, like, certain ladies and the like? Um, which is another thing that I think is cool about Fallout 4. You can seduce any sex whatsoever. But The Witcher I, makes sense because Geralt is straight. So it's like, it wouldn't, you know, but in Fallout, you become your own character. So, anyway. This woman, I feel like I should be able to seduce but I've actually was not able to do it and I'm not and I'm thinking in a way though that's kind of cool too that you can that, you know it's not like every woman seducible because it's like that's real life like every person has a choice and they might find you attractive cool and interesting but still don't want to be with you and it's kind of like the game sets that up as well looking for buckthorn know if it grows anywhere around here hmm bottom of the river where the channel's widest but you do know that once out of the water It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... 
A few years ago, we had trouble. Drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sars, something, something. <laughs> ah, good to know the black ones are looking out for our welfare. Uh, here's a great statement situation. Now, he seems like he does actually care about the welfare. Nilfgaard values order. I'm gonna say he... Doubt Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. Chill there are statement. no decent men in the army. There are only orders. It's possible. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise, you'd not use bait. Just wait for the griffin to attack again. I care about people! Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. See? So, that's a lot of, a lot of tension kind of thing that comes with that. Now, not like... The most, ah, not, not like the most crazy tension, but I do think it's funny how they have her bend over right as you enter through the door. Like, I feel like that was on purpose, and she keeps doing it. Like, oh, we got venom extract. Oh, we got venom extract. We can make some of those. Yes. Oh, there's more story here. Uh, hold on. Got any herbs you're willing Let's see to if sell. there's anything we can I'm buy sure real quick. I'm sure I can find something. All right, so when I'm buying things, I got to be really careful on what I spend it on because we can easily run out of money, and that's just difficult to deal with. Oh, we can get both oils. Oh, nice. Cursed oil, necrophage oil. We have specter. So remember when I mentioned that we won't really focus too much on the actual creation of... um leveling up our character's alchemy but we still will focus on some alchemy here because it's amazingly useful to have extra potions and things uh can i get water essence cat is a great potion because it allows you to see in the dark oh look at that she's water essence it's expensive as fuck though okay not doing that one i guess we've got a lot of new stuff and also ever hear of a woman named claire listen ever heard of a woman named claire Lived around this was here. from the Devil Claire by the Well contract. A mild way to put it. Claire was a friend. The only person dear to me in all of White Orchard. Until her husband, Volker, quarreled with the Lord of the Manor. He then gathered the family, moved out into the woods to start a new settlement. The Lord and his retinue rode there to convince them to return. They were to be civil. No forcing. No bloodshed. But... You saw... Word is Claire said something about the Lord's son, Florian. Something that made the Lord furious. But who knows the truth? Lots of misfortune for such a small village. Tis so in every village. Even the smallest. You need only ask. But let's not end on a teary note. Here, a bit of solace. <laughs> Let me give you more shit for just saying hello. Wow, she gave us a lot of stuff. Oh my god, she's up! She's okay! How long have we been here talking? Wow, wait, was that just a glitch? That's really funny. That's a that's a very entertaining glitch. Yes. Well, let's see what we can craft. Ooh, or we can find out what her story is. First we'll Got do crafting. Herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. So this is a bummer. We can only buy one of calcium equium which will get us bombs which is another really like witcher thing to have is that you also also have explosives um that's another example when if you're putting money or money skills into the alchemy tree you can get better explosive abilities here we go tell me something about story yourself. time what's your story a sad one do you know the temple of melitale in alanda do i know it I can't remember how many times I've been there, how many times Mother Nenica stitched me up. We must have missed each other. I started to become a healer under Mother Nenica. Hmm. I was but 18 when they took me in. An age at which teachings interest one far less than love. There was a boy, Goslath. He'd bare his chest to work. The novices couldn't keep their eyes off him, tripped over their own feet, dropped things. I left the temple for him. We passed a lovely summer together, and then he left. Oh, bummer. Neneke refused to take me back. My parents uttered not a word. Gave me a travel cloak and a small coin pouch. 
I struggled long to find a place where I'd feel safe, needed, until I finally arrived here. End of story. Bummer. Farewell. I love how he doesn't say anything about that. He's just like, man, that sucks. Bye. <laughs> like, it, it does. I mean, and also, never, never ever leave, like, something you love for someone you love. I know that sounds weird. Actually, that's not always true. But it's definitely a danger uh, that people... You hear often people saying, like, I'm leaving school because this person I'm in love with is here. And you're like, okay, well, that's a bad idea. Uh... And you, it's one of those things where it's, I think it's sometimes a cultural thing, um, where they talk about like people will leave for love and then it turned out great. Where people, it's like uh, survivor's bias. When you ask someone like, how did you survive the blank blank? And they're like, oh, I did this thing. You're like, well, they survived, so it must have worked. It's like, no, they got Whoa. lucky. Kind of thing, like, and that's why you have to like take statistics and stuff like that. And that's kind of a, a thing that I find that some of these lover stories can be. She was an example of when it doesn't work. I think it was good. Anyone home? Must Have be out hunting. Gloves. Oh, I love it. We can hunt him now. Footsteps. Trails fresh. Ms. Love just left home. Trails flesh. Flesh. Flesh trail. You know, a flesh trail is a very different type of trail. It's kind of gross sounding when I'm saying it. Oh, for a moment I thought that his foot became like triple toed, but I realized he stepped on a plant. A little different. Uh... See a sign, Narnia. It is really cool. Oh, hey, big guy. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No, wild dogs. Yes, more dangerous than wolves. Come on. Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. Know why? Do tell. No, but I guess you're about to tell me. Wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just like humans. Aye. They've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? I like this guy. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilfgaardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm hmm. I'll show you, sure, but uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Just my steel one. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now. Since the war started, soldier on the march. He'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spines, covered in scabies. But they too late. Attacked another one. But they just won't die. Ah, uh, that stench. That's interesting. I was thinking, like, dogs people don't ever kill, right? Like... People, it's, you know, there are movies where it's like the worst parts when they kill the dog. You know, like, humans have this huge contact with trusting these animals and the like. Why am I not stri slicing anyone? There we go. So, but, you know, like a dog is, you know, if, imagine a dog is a person, right? Just a four-legged person. Then it's like people care about the dog as, as much as they would at least the person. So if people were roving around killing people, this would feel less sad. But uh, now I'm killing dogs. So <laughs> it's, I don't know, it's, I always find that it's really interesting to care for animals in a lot of films and the like. Hey dude, we killed a bunch of dogs. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together. Where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's Hunter. I like this guy. But that was before. Well, a long time ago. Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. I bet he's like a werewolf Sorry. or something. I'd rather not talk about it. 
Oh, I like this. I'm a freak too. I'm a freak too. Aye, but of another kind. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse that... The Lord's son, Florian, and I... We loved each other. Dieter walked in on us in the stables. They drove me away. Florian hanged himself. Lord started drinking, and the estate fell into ruin. That's the long and short of it. Wow. So, that Claire woman call, tells the Lord says Florian is gay, which this man was in love with him, and Florian hung himself, which made the guy, him go crazy, and so when Claire and those guys left, the Lord went crazy and killed them because of his grief and everything. Now, obviously, you should never react that way if, uh, like, regardless of the, like, how grieving you are. But it's an amazing to see... I'm sorry. Uh, ancient history now. I was to show you where I found the Nilf Guardians. Come. Oh, that is an amazing circle Griffin, of know story. anything about it? Not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. Well, I guess I could see that being a thing. It's so pretty hearing. Like, I was just watching a developer diary from uh, Ruby, the uh, Rooster Teeth anime thing. They were talking a lot how sound is the second half of any art that you do. And I think this is interesting because I... You know, I care about audio and the thing, but I definitely care about it so much differently. Whoa! Twas here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. Be fine. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Thanks, Ben. Oh. Nelf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. I love the effect uh, this, of the trees and the sound when um, you're in the Witcher zoom in mode. Looking for anything else. Got some creatures over there. An owl hooting. Hoot hooting. Nothing's really popping up. Oh, fire right here. A camp. Oh, we got something else over here. These prints are older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians, probably. Where are they headed? Looks like they went this way, but they came from this direction. Do I have to cross the bridge? Oh, there's something down here. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Up. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. We got more. Got more prints. What's this? Oh. Are we about to find our Griffin friend? Up. Oh, oh, here we go. Keep going up. Let's see. Up. Oh, we gotta jump. Jump. Yeah. All right. Griffin's still going. Nest. What remains of it, at least? Whoa. Oh, he. Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Oof. Bones. Horse. Dog. Human. A few months worth. It's a dead griffin. That's why it left his nest. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Examine wounds? Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Interesting. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs the in the coat. The Nilf Guardians killed it. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Interesting. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Revenge. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Hey, level 
level up on top of that. Nice. Oh, that's pretty cool. Give some crowns. Some orins. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's take this chance to uh, give our character a little bit of a boost. Now, so I'm focusing on uh, magic right now. The next, when we level up to get over here, I'll start focusing on um, some sword play. Uh, but first, we'll do the magic -y stuff. And next, oh goodness, you know what I'm excited about? Exploding shield. Boom, baby. Yeah. Yeah, we got a Quen that now explodes when it goes off. Legit. So let's uh, head to the forest, do the buckwood thing. Or excuse me, the water, do the buckwood thing. And uh, I, then I think that'll be good for the episode so far. Oh, come on. There you go, girl. There you go, big guy. Grab our horsey. Uh, it may be a bit of a, a run over there. So it'll, it'll, it'll fit, it'll fit, it'll feel good. Whoop, horse. On we go. Uh, so there's a thing that I was talking about a little while back. Um, last episode, in fact, that I totally forgot to uh, finish that thought basically it's related to if you're an invading force uh, how important it is to treat the people that you invade kindly because otherwise unless you're trying to kill everybody it will be like leaving a disease inside of you it will constantly fight back but unlike diseases uh, conquered and there's this exclamation That's mark right much. here what's this uh, but unlike a disease or whatever, you can talk to the people and say, Hey, what's up? How can I, uh... What's going on here? Lost your key, man? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty. Expression. This hurt, that is, till the night before the battle, a man arrived, walked right in like for his own. Stand Peering at the Bowen's arm. Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran, got any birch bark by chance? She takes a bad like step berries back. or even a few coals? She takes Nay, a step forward. says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. Staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. <laughs> Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. Baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. <laughs> Truly a fascinating tale. Fascinating story. Any chance you're nearing the end? Before dawn, another rose up to the hut. <laughs> But come on, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm a fear to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Me thinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Possible. Sure. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You That's should wait here, just in case. Funny as fuck. Alright. Knock, knock! I kind of arted her, didn't I? <laughs> Spick and span pan. I'm just gonna loot all her shit. Oh, nice! I have a single of course. silver. Explains the stench. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. What's that, dearie? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Talking out loud to himself. Oh, that's funny. Oh, look, it's the pan. First, let's loot some shit, though. Pan! Uh, the priceless frying pan. Hm, scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. 
Oh, that's But cool. when I gab to myself, they say I'm going barmy. Because <laughs> he talks to himself all the time so that, you know, we could hear it. That's funny. Oh, I like that. This is a very self-aware mission. I think that's pretty funny indeed. Alright, well, we got a silver ingot in here. That was pretty cool. Hey, I got your pan. Here, your frying pan. On my back mine? belt. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. Soot's just what the gentleman needed. He scraped it off, made ink out of it. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilfgaardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny. For the road. Thanks, Gran. Uh, so, Geralt is hundreds of years old. Which is something I think is really interesting. Because it's like, he doesn't act hundreds of years old. But that woman totally does. Which is something that I find kind of interesting. Because then you gotta wonder if like... In a lot of artistic renditions, if age is considered to actually be a um, a sign of physical activity and ability, not actually a like actual life lived, because I mean, if you maybe uh, Geralt's super wise, but he doesn't necessarily seem to be in a way like. Uh, but it's also the player who chooses Geralt and chooses what girls he's with or what mistakes he'll make. So I don't know; it could go either way. But anyway, dudes. There we go. We got episode six on the way. Thank you so much for watching. It's a total joy to have you here. Thank you for likes or subscribes. It really helps the channel out. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you have any build ideas for Geralt when we get through this area and we finally make it to the where we start a, where a player, if they die, they're really, really cut and we start someone new, let me know down below. Do you want an alchemy one? Do you want a sword play one? Do you want a focus? Do you want a mix? What kind of morals does they, ha or does they do they have? Let me know. I'd love to hear it. Now remember, the subreddit can be used for that too. And of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet, may the wind always be at your back, and the sun shine warmly in your sexy, sexy face. Dude, see you later. Bye.